In this session, I'm going to describe a process of writing a software to work on coding positions in DNA sequences that you have. We'll work on an example here to work on the coding position 3 in a DNA sequence. So the first step is to have a DNA sequence contained within a variable. So we have a variable called DNA and we assign our DNA sequence to it. So let's say our DNA sequence is this sequence. And the second step is to single out the codons in our DNA sequence. So what we've got to do is to have yet another variable. And here we need to use a list comprehension instead of using a function or a class, or writing our own function. So what we can do is to declare a variable containing the list. We can say DNA and open yet another list saying start to start plus three. So I've talked about this process in my previous lectures. You can go and review them for start in range open close parentheses zero comma length of your DNA sequence and then three comma three you can say comma three now this is our list we can print it out print codons. So to double check whether we've written everything clean and neat, we can use a print statement at or a print function at any given time. So this gives us our codons in our DNA sequence starting from TGG to TAA. Now the next step is to single out the codon position 3 nucleotides in every codon. Here we need another list comprehension. So we can say codon position three, CP3 for codon position three. And you can write down a note, I comment saying CP3 stands for codon position three. Then, then say C P3 equals our list saying i for or i in a second. Number two here means the third nucleotide for i in range or for i in codon actually. So we have codons as the name of the variable. So if you have a look, we have this simple list comprehension. We can print it out. We can say print, open close parentheses. You can write a statement or a sentence saying the DNA or DNA codon position nucleotides are backslash n open close curly brackets zero well this is a matter of formatting you can neglect this or just write it your own way dot format now cp3 so you write down cp3 this is to just to show you that you can do it this way as well you are not obliged to do that. So let's check whether it works or not. Now, if you have a look, the first codon is TGG and the last nucleotide in this codon is G. The second one is CCC and the last one is C. The third codon is GAT and the last codon is T. So these have been singled out 
and this singling out is important for phylogenetic analyses. So you can do your phylogenetic trees and after that you can perform this procedure and feed this kind of DNA sequences to prepare a yet different level of phylogenetic tree and compare them. Sometimes there are mutation bias in code in position 2 or 3 in a DNA sequence of a species. And this can change the status of your phylogenetic trees. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you.